On June 10 of last year, Harley Technical Davidson's subcommittee began investigating claims of brake lights staying on in a small number of 2020 model year motorcycles. The Milwaukee-based firm contacted the supplier, retrieved the relevant components from the field, and solicited HD Engineering's help to determine the problem. The technical subcommittee decided to call off the study on October 28 of last year due to the low incidence rate and the possibility that the underlying issue will resolve itself. Harley-Davidson, however, was too hopeful, and on May 12 of this year, it reopened the study after learning of a higher incidence rate. Changes to the software used at Harley-Davidson factories were made after the business analyzed the new warranty and customer interaction records. Although the patch was meant to prevent this issue from occurring in subsequent production runs, the TSC has decided to continue keeping a close eye on it. On September 2nd, the problem was brought back to active status and escalated to the Field Action Committee and Executive Decision Authority. Nearly 200,000 motorcycles and tricycles have been affected by the unintentional activation of the brake light, and Harley-Davidson contacted the Office of Defects Investigation at the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration to discuss the issue. It's better late than never that the corporation allowed a recall, and it's probable that the safety experts at ODI were instrumental in convincing them to do so. The solution is a new version of the program, as suggested by the headline. Also, the concerned three-wheelers will need a replacement pressure switch, which the dealers have been told to install. All new production motorcycles and tricycles of June 24, 2018 will come with improved firmware. No later than November 2nd, concerned motorcycle and tricycle owners will get a letter in the mail. The affected motorcycles are the Touring and CVO Touring models produced between July 2nd, 2019 and June 23rd, 2022 for the 2020 and 2022 model years. Trike and CVO trike units manufactured between July 6, 2018 and June 23rd, 2022 are included in the recall. For Harley-Davidson, the recall is a blow to its reputation and bottom line. The company has built its brand on the idea of freedom and individuality, and any suggestion that its bikes may not be safe goes against that image. In addition, the recall comes at a time when Harley-Davidson is already facing challenges, including declining sales and a shrinking market share. Despite these challenges, Harley-Davidson is taking steps to address the recall and prevent similar issues from occurring in the future. The company has set up a dedicated website and hotline for customers to get more information and schedule repairs and has promised to do everything it can to make the process as smooth and hassle-free as possible for its customers. In addition, Harley-Davidson has stated that it is working closely with the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, to resolve the issue and prevent any future safety risks. The company has also announced that it will be increasing its investment in quality control and testing to ensure that all of its products meet the highest safety standards. While the recall is certainly a disappointment for Harley-Davidson and its customers, the company is taking steps to address the issue and ensure the safety of its riders. By working closely with the NHTSA and investing in quality control, Harley-Davidson is showing that it is committed to putting the needs of its customers first and ensuring that its products are of the highest quality. Well, this isn't the first time this is happening. It also happened in 2017. According to reports, Milwaukee-based Harley-Davidson recalled 45,589 2017 touring models due to potential oil line clamp installation problems. There were supposedly nine accidents involving detached oil cooler lines, including two crashes. One rider sustained light wounds. This recall in question affected bikes from the 2017 model year that were produced between July 2, 2016 and May 9, 2017. This includes the Electroglide Ultra Classic, Road King, Road King Special, Street Glide, Street Glide Special, Road King, Road King Special, Police Electra, and Police Road King. The recalled motorcycles will be inspected by Harley-Davidson service centers. In the event that a dealer discovers oil cooler line clamps that were improperly placed, they will do so without charging the customer. According to the Milwaukee, Wisconsin Journal Sentinel, the recall would start very soon. The number of recalled motorcycles varies widely, with one estimate putting them at 57,000. There is a risk of hot motor oil spraying out in the front of the back tire if the oil line breaks. This is a voluntary recall in the interest of customer safety, Harley added. 
The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, looked into 430,000 Harley-Davidson motorcycles equipped with anti-lock braking systems between 2008 and 2011 after receiving 43 complaints, three crash reports, and two injury reports in 2016. It was suggested in the study, as reported by the journal Sentinel, that riders who claimed their bikes failed without warning may have forgotten to replenish the brake fluid every two years, as is recommended. A biker reported hitting a garage door when his brakes failed. The 2016 probe and the current recall of oil cooler line clamps by Harley-Davidson were not NHTSA product safety recalls. A dealer was testing a motorcycle on a dynamometer when an oil line came loose and revealed the problem on March 7th, according to reports. A week after the initial study was closed on April 13th, Harley-Davidson received a complaint of an oil line detachment that led to a crash, which prompted the reopening of the investigation. Field reports, including the two crashes and the one injury, were discovered after further analysis of customer contact records and warranty reports. Overall, the Harley-Davidson trike recall serves as a reminder that even the most trusted brands can experience setbacks. However, by taking swift and decisive action to address this issue, Harley-Davidson is working to maintain the trust and loyalty of its customers and keep its reputation as a leader in the motorcycle industry. Now, it is always a good thing that companies care enough to recall their products so that they don't become a public health risk. But the problem for Harley, in this case, is that it is losing its market share to competitors, and if things continue like this, they might not even have a customer base left to recall the bikes from. Okay, now that might have seemed a little far-fetched, but let's face it, Harley isn't the same company that it was a couple of decades ago. There are new, flashier options available in the market, and these companies are giving Harley a run for its money. After all, Harley's primary client base has now grown a little too old, they might still be able to ride, but they aren't going to be buying new bikes anytime soon. So the company is in dire need of increasing its market base, and the only way that it can do this is by producing the best bikes possible, obviously while keeping the price at a certain level. In this regard, the company would have to work on its errors and the myriad of problems that seem to be coming in their bikes. But if all goes well, then you can expect Harley to continue roaring down the road for the foreseeable future. So that was all the time we had today, folks. Hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and do hit the bell icon on your way out. See you all next time.